What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Carl Anthony Towns Minnesota Timberwolves City Edition jersey. And off the bat, I'm just going to let you guys know I'm into this jersey. They add a lot of features from the like late 90s, early 2000s during that Kevin Garnett era. So for me, <laughs> nostalgia, it's already drawn to me. I wish they had a little more selection when they dropped these online. Like if I could get a Pat Bev or Anthony Edwards authentic version, it would be so sick. But today we're going to be taking a look at the Carl Anthony Town Swingman. We're just going to go ahead and unbox it, take a closer look at the finer details, and hopefully help you decide if you want to purchase one yourself. So if you guys find this video helpful, or entertaining, and easy way to support the channel, just by hitting like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell so when I drop new videos or their sales or new releases, you don't miss out. Let's go ahead and get into it. I bought this one at fanatics.com for 130 bucks, and here's the first look. Boom! Look at that. You got a blue colorway. You got the Nike swoosh. The old trees up here. You got wolves in the front. Then you got Carl Anthony Towns. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. First, we're going to take a look at the 75th anniversary Jerry West logo. So you can see here, as usual, it's the plastic material. You got it stitched down. Just looks beautiful in the light. You got the 75 to commemorate the 75th anniversary. But we go to the collar. It's got that rib material with the trees from the Kevin Garnett era jerseys sublimated onto the collar. Just beautiful, very nostalgic. Then we go to the lettering and numbering. So you got Carl Anthony Towns. So right here it's a swingman jersey, so it is heat pressed. Just white lettering. 32. So you have white with the green and silver trim. Also heat pressed and the two and at the bottom right corner it says dry fit and when you take a look at the actual like color on the jersey you can see there's um, two different like blues so in this jersey they're basically using the colorway from the inaugural season and remixing it with the colors of the current icon edition so you can see two different colors of blue and then what's really sick is that side panel. So right over here you see like kind of these little streaks and designs on the side. So since it's the Timberwolves, this design is supposed to uh, emulate the protective hide of a wolf. So they have like coarse hair that um, you know just helps protect them, gives them an extra layer of protection. So this design popped up on a couple years ago City Edition jersey. So they're throwing that feature onto this jersey so it's supposed to be like emulating the wolf the wolf's hide and that is the back of the jersey on the front side you got the collar the same style got those kg trees arm opening same style as well see the nba logo you got the information here large recycling tags i mean logo and then you got the recycle tag right here 130 NBA tag, pretty standard stuff. Then we go to the Nike swoosh. So you got the diamond embellishment on the Nike swoosh, nice and clean, very reflective. See it's stitched down as well. Then you got Wolves in 32. So this script style is actually from the 90s to 2000s script style. So they're using that style. Looks sick. Same thing, white with the green and silver trim. 32 the same style as well and then down at the jock tag pretty much your standard stuff you got swingman 48 large you got the city edition tab they don't add anything on top of here usually some of the city editions do but right over here you can see the front side you can see the design that's sublimated onto the jersey so this will not fade those are dyed onto the fabric and they have it on both sides. And that right there is the front of the jersey. And this is what it looks like when you wear the jersey. I'm not gonna lie, I think it just got me because that old Kevin Garnett jersey is probably one of my favorite jersey design ever. So, I mean, just seeing the, the script and the number style and the trees, like, I'm already like, I'm hella biased, you could already tell. 
but <laughs> you got the nice beautiful Nike swoosh. Um, the side panel is sick. I like that design. And just trying to incorporate like features of the wolf, like that's just like really tying it in with the logo and the, the story and history of Timberwolves. But you got it on both sides. Then you got the back, you got Carl Anthony Towns. As much as I like this jersey personally, if I take a step back and kind of judge it for a city edition, they went really heavy on the 96 to 2000s era. I mean, they kept the same script and number style. The trees, they pretty much just switched the colors instead of being black. They changed the colors and then added the 2017 side panel. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of a recycled look, but I mean, it still looks clean. It's just not as creative. They're just kind of just throwing the old jersey and recycling it. But what do you guys think about the jersey? Let me know in the comments below. And also, if you wear a size large, I'm letting this one go. So eBay store, hit me up, try to make something happen. But hey, thanks again for watching guys, and on to the next video.